I make paintings from satellite perspectives, not to tell people how to feel about the climate crisis, but rather to invite them for reflection. I paint fast to reflect the urgency, but also to echo how rapidly these landscapes are changing. In my paintings, I break the rectangular format as a symbolic approach to rethinking systems because the current systems of production are destroying the planet. I feel optimistic about the future of the planet. I see a lot of innovation and I think that people will find a solution. They always do. Coming from an immigrant history, it's really important to me to translate these experiences of trauma, of displacement, into healing and pleasure. So the forms that I use come from you know, my background as a Chinese Taiwanese American, and my processes in my studio also come from this context of using traditions from East Asia, but also using materials and food waste from my everyday environment, such as indigo, turmeric, and avocado dye. Climate change is specifically impactful to people of color, and it's important to me that these traditions are represented when we talk about sustainability. I think consciousness requires us to bear witness to the miraculousness that is this life and living creation. When I look at industrial ruins and kind of the remnants of our society, I want to force viewers and the audience to look at the implications of what we do and what we decide might be a good way for us to live. Miami is a really unique city. It's a very young city. The arts in general are really taking root here. And it's also on the forefront of this climate crisis. So I think working within the sphere of climate is incredibly important in this area particularly. And I think as humans, our jobs is to steward the planet and to steward ourselves and living systems. And I think my art is just a small part of that. <laughs>